So for this instructional, I'm actually choosing a trail that's most commonly used to ride downhill. So there's a lot of challenges, kind of like this. It's kind of a slippery day, it's kind of wet. And this ramp requires me to do two things. Generate the right speed and also utilize some body weight transfer. I'm going to talk about speed first. So there's a, a nice flat section of trail that leads up to this uh, ramp. I'm going to try to generate speed ahead of time, really get that momentum going. A higher cadence ahead of time to generate that speed just so I have the best gear for when it gets quite a bit steeper. So approaching, ramping up, higher cadence, higher cadence. So this higher cadence also allows me to, to get my pedals in the right position for the weight transfer. So I'm pedaling fast, 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 right to the last moment. So during this steep section, I need to somehow get my center of gravity from down here to up there. This requires a weight transfer, of course, and you can do this weight transfer while pedaling, although it's often best to do it right at the very, right at the very end, getting your pedals level, which gives you a nice platform for transferring the weight. You'll notice as I do this, there's a slight pause of my pedal stroke right at the crux of this up. And the weight of my body is coming forward and at the, at the very end, I'm doing this extension of the bike. There's a, there's a push of the bike to get the rear tire up. You want the rear tire to get high enough up this edge to clear it. My body can be really far back. Now this is key. Once the back tire is up and your body weight's back, you're gonna need to have a stable platform with your feet. Chances are, once you've made that crux move, there's you can't pedal your bike once you've extended the bike forward, your butt's way back. Not a great position to be pedaling in. That's why there's that slight pause of pedal stroke. I can move the bike further and faster with an extension of the bike combined with the weight transfer than I can by continuing to pedal. And that's really the trick. People think, oh, I gotta keep pedaling, keep pedaling, but that prevents the advantage of using your body to quickly extend the bike forward.